Hello, cutie pie. Good morning. Oh, you're so sweet. Ollie, what are you looking for, baby? All right, well, you guys go ahead and keep on protecting us up here. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. It's kind of a vlog style video just because we are not home right now. We are actually in Palm Springs and we're out here because we are celebrating Sebastian's birthday. <laughs> are you ready for a shot? No. Please. I did one for you last night. No. Let's get ratchet, let's get ratchet, let's get ratchet. Let's get ratchet, let's get ratchet. Let's get ratchet. Let's get ratchet. I literally have on a mask from Core Organics. A two-in-one exfoliating turmeric mask. It's my favorite at the moment. The color's not my favorite though. It works good and I guess that's all that matters. But anyways, we are out here celebrating his birthday. We went to Joshua Tree yesterday, which was beautiful. We had never been out there. It's actually cool because we were able to bring the pups with us. I feel bad they never get to travel with us because we always go out of the country. We always go for work, but it was really nice to be able to take them. We enjoy just having them with us wherever we go. So we did that yesterday and then today, celebrating his birthday, we're meeting with his family later. But I wanted to get on here and film a video for my hotel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my favorite perfume. I'm always sharing with you guys my favorite scents on my Insta stories from candles to lotions to perfumes to any kind of scents. I always share with you guys the things that I like and I love hearing that you guys, you know, went to the mall to go smell it or went to Bath and Body Works um, to go smell the candles or whatever and are so happy with what I recommended. So I really want to share with you guys my favorite perfumes that are bomb, amazing year-long scents, scents that will smell so good on everybody and just make you smell womanly, grown, fierce, boss sexy whatever you're in the mood for I feel like my perfume recommendations are pretty good and I say perfumes because I actually have quite a lot I'm not just like a one type of perfume kind of girl I have different ones for different occasions different times of the year hope you guys love this video yeah we're dry I think it's time to take this oh no oh it doesn't have crack on my hands I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off in just a bit get ready and then when I come back we'll get into this video three two one damn that was fast can you guys imagine if I got ready this fast in my life It'd be so much easier so the first one we're gonna talk about is the one that I love the most and that is my Lolabo Santol 33. I've talked about this to you guys so many times. It is just absolutely one of my favorite perfumes. It's so nostalgic. It just really brings back amazing memories. It takes me to like a really warm place. It's every time I wear this I get so so many compliments and what I love about this being the most is that it's so long lasting. So I could spray this on in the morning, go throughout my day at night. You can still smell it on me. So this one is a woody aromic fragrance. It's sandalwood, cedar, violet, leather and those are like all generally what I like to wear and you'll notice that in all these perfumes but this is like my all-time favorite it's actually what I'm gonna wear today and then something you guys should know too about this is that it is very 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 expensive like if you want a sample they charge you for examples because it is very expensive I believe this bottle is around two maybe three hundred dollars but I have had this actually since uh, January 5th and we are halfway so I feel like this will last me maybe till end of year Maybe not. I definitely recommend checking this one out. So the next perfume we're going to talk about is the Giorgio Armani C. I absolutely live for this perfume. So initially when I first bought this years ago, I remember smelling it and really liking to it. I didn't know what gravitated me to it, but I knew that I liked a note in there. And I couldn't pinpoint what it was. And the more and more I wore it, I just fell in love with how it smelled on my skin. So many compliments on this. And I finally figured out that it is still very similar to Santal 33. It's like a fruity, woodsy Put together that's the best way to explain it it's got that woodsy amber jasmine kind of undertone in there it has bergamot black currant liquor it has rose in there jasmine patchouli wood amber and vanilla so those again are all in my favorites that i love i just think these smell gorgeous and can really work well for day or night time and real quick something to know is that when you smell it on here it smells a little different than how it smells on so i recommend spraying it on your body walking around with it trying it out first but i think you'll really like it especially if you like the notes that i just mentioned i might butcher this one but the next one on my list is the tom ford Soleil, Soleil Blanc. I don't know how to pronounce that word, but this is an all-time favorite for summer. So this one is the all-over body spray, and that's literally what I do. Like, the fact that it's, like, in the aerosol, I just... Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's so sexy. It's grown sexy, but beachy and hot. So they have this in the body spray version, the perfume, and the body shimmer. I just get the body spray version because I do spray a lot on. And then I also have the shimmering oil. I'm sure you guys have seen it. It's always sold out as well, but I stocked up on it. And it's, again, one of my favorites because it has the scent of this, but it also has a shimmer. And this also does have coconut milk, turbia rose, pistachio, pink pepper, bergamot again. I mean, it just has all those beautiful notes that I've talked to you guys about that are warm, comforting. I'm 
highly recommend trying this one out if you guys are looking for like a summer scent. So next on my list is my absolute favorite seductive perfume and that is my Alien. I talked about this one so much. I hate the bottle. I hate the name but what's inside is all that matters. This is one of my favorite perfumes for day and night especially going out. It will captivate anyone you are around. It is so long lasting. The scent lingers on. I walk into the room and people know I'm there. Put it that way. Before I purchase this I always used to see this bottle at Sephora and I was never attracted to this bottle whatsoever. I was like, oh no, that looks chunky AF. But let me tell you guys, man, perfect example of you cannot judge a book by its cover. It wasn't until about a year ago that I actually smelled it on a friend of mine and could not get over how incredible she smelled. I'm praying it smelled the same on me and it did and that's why I'm almost positive it will smell good on everyone because it's just incredible. And let me give you guys the notes in this. It's Jasmine, Cashmere Wood, and White Amber. This one I feel is definitely Sebastian's favorite for like going out scent when I spray it on. I like that one a lot. He compliments that, that he's always like, damn, you smell so, so good. There's a couple times that I've had like women come up to me and they're like, hey, my husband likes what you're wearing. Can, huh? can you <laughs> can you tell me the perfume you're wearing? Like I'm telling you guys, this is the one. So definitely check this one out. Don't let this bottle fool you. It's good inside. So the next one on my list is the Mojavo Ghost Perfume by Barredo as well as the Gypsy Water Perfume by Barredo as well. These are literally the most delicious daytime airy fragrances you can find. They are very, very lightweight. If you're like somebody that doesn't like anything strong, you want something that smells just fresh and clean, but again, captivating. You will absolutely love these two. So let's get into Mojave Ghost first. A lot of amber, cedar wood, but the fruit in here makes it a little bit more fruity, a little bit more daytime. Um, the way it wears though, daytime, very fresh, airy finish to it that I feel like is very wearable for anybody. I feel like this almost reminds me of a shampoo in a perfume. You know like when you go to the salon and they use some bougie ass shampoos, they wash your hair and for days you're like, damn, this smells so good. This one is just that in a bottle. And then we have good old Gypsy Water. Now this one caused me a headache. I could not find this one anywhere. I I had smelled it on somebody one time, wrote it down because I really fell in love. Now this one reminds me of an old perfume that I used to use called Valentina. I don't know what happened to that perfume. Um, they stopped selling it. It was like a V-shaped perfume. It just smelled so romantic and sexy. I feel this is like the closest thing to it. The notes in here are bergamot, lemon, pepper, juniper berries, pine needles, vanilla, and sandalwood. As always, similar to what I like, this one to me, I believe would even smell really nice on a guy. This has a really pleasant finish to it. When I wear this though, I feel very clean, very sexy. It's almost like too good to be true and myself over spraying a lot because I just love the way it smells and because it's not that strong I feel like that's why I do it and that's why I say it's a really good daytime perfume that's lightweight that's airy crispy clean creamy like everything you want in one so the last one we're going to talk about is my most intense perfume out of all of them it's another Tom Ford one and it is the Tom Ford Santal blush I have gone through this one like crazy it is in the sandalwood undertones but it's a little bit more intense so I recommend with this one only do two sprays because it is stronger I wouldn't say to be a heat that strong it might not be for everybody but I absolutely love this one when I wear it again I get a lot of compliments on this one people really are always captivated and I think again it's all those undertones that I mentioned that all the other ones up here with the cedarwood vanilla sandalwood like the blend of everything but this one's just a little bit more unique a very curious scent you can't pinpoint what's in it what smells so good about it but again just like the other ones I talked about they're very year-long you can wear them for different occasions like nighttime dinner Christmas you know you will definitely create a statement with this one like you walk in and you're that bitch with that perfume on you know like damn that's her so that's why i say two sprays is all you need but nonetheless it's a very pleasant scent and just overall like what i really really love so that is pretty much it for my absolute favorite favorite ride or die go-to perfumes these are my favorites that i always replenish on i have a lot more at home that i actually didn't include because i don't feel like i wear those every single day like it's definitely a mood kind of thing and at the moment and for the past few years this is kind of what i'm into i do change it up but not too 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 often i'll be very honest with you back in the day i will say i was a lot more fruity my favorites were clinique happy i sold the ralph lauren blue britney spears fantasy paris hilton pink and black bottle was another favorite like i can go on to my list um, i definitely recommend checking these ones out if you guys are in the mood for new perfumes and want something really good as i mentioned they're all good for day and night and if you want them a little more stronger i mentioned stronger ones you want something more airy and lightweight I also have those as well but i hope you guys enjoyed this video on my favorites if you guys did be sure to let me know and with that said guys we gotta go we gotta go celebrate sebastian's birthday turn down already hello hola buenos dias and you gotta take a shot you promised no please please, please one no. shot porfa you promised you promised <laughs>
and we need to like check out. Oh God. All right guys, we gotta go. See y'all later, bye.